Ada, tell me what happened in 2016. Um, basically, um, I had a retail theft. Um, I went away to jail for six months. Um, I left my children in the care of my um, mother. So as I was released, um, I came home. Um, I told my mom, because she was living at my house at the time, I want to know what's going on. And she told me that, you know, she made some false allegations stating that I was, you know, a bad mother, that I wasn't feeding my children, I wasn't clothing them, I was prostituting in front of them, um, I was uh, doing drugs in front of them, um, I was just a, a, a bad parent that just didn't care about my children, didn't put them first, that I was a neglectful parent, and that wasn't the truth at all. Why, you said that she told you she made these allegations up? Yes. What, and what was her reason to do that? Because at the time, she was living in my home and she felt like she couldn't financially take care of the home. These allegations that she made, um, are any of them true? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, so, so they're not all crazy allegations? No, the allegations that weren't true were the ones that were crazy. Well, like, let me, let me ask you. feeding them leaving them unattended. Did you prostitute around your kids? Absolutely not. Were you prostituting for money? Yes. Yeah. Um, were you doing drugs around them? Absolutely not. Did you neglect their medical needs? Um, yes, I did. W was the home clean? Yes. Uh, did you have clean clothes for them to wear? Yes. Would you leave them unsupervised? No. And where are your kids now? Right now, my two oldest are with my sister, and my youngest is still in the system. Still in the system. Mm -hmm. um, and when did they get removed from your care? Um, they got removed from my care in 2000 and, what was that, 15? Yeah, when I went away. But when you got back, you never got custody of them again? Um, they told me that they wanted me to do parenting classes, drug and alcohol program, and um, supervised visits. I did all of the above except for the supervised visits because they were with my mother. And you didn't want to see your mom? Um, no, I actually went to my mom's and was seeing my children and basically it backfired. And I wind up losing my children how behind it that. How did it backfire? Because I didn't respect CYS's wishes. If I would have respect to see why us wishes and not listen to my mom was saying, no, you don't have to, you know, um, do the supervised visits. You can come here. Oh, I would have made out better. Okay. Um, so you didn't follow their plan. Any chance you get any of these kids back? Um, I lost all my rights. That's why I'm on this show. I want to be the voice for females in my situation who give up hope and think that just because they lost their rights that they don't get a second chance because it doesn't work like that. Your sister Monique made us a tape. We're going to play that now. So my sister Ada has had just issues with being able to be a mom, keep her kids. She's um, struggled with drugs, prostitution, stealing. You know, she just has neglected the kids. Well, when I first, you know, heard my sister's kids were placed in care. Um, it was because she got arrested for shoplifting. So it was really hard, um, you know, for me to get the kids. I fought really hard. They went in two other different foster homes before finally they gave me the children, but just two of the kids. One of them has unfortunately been adopted out. So I feel like my sister feels like, you know, yeah, I'm a great mom, like I love my kids, but I don't think that she knows how to be a parent. I don't think she knows how to be a mom, that it takes consistency, like you have to be there for your kids. So my sister moved down the block from me. Um, we thought it would be a good thing because she'd be able to come and visit with the kids. My sister, often doesn't see the kids like you know my her kids have went down there out of the past seven eight months i'm gonna say maybe two three times 
her feeling like, well, I did what I had to do to take care of you guys. I was a good mom. No, you weren't a good mom. So um, I know my sister was accused of being on drugs in front of her kids, um, leaving her kids in the house alone and unattended. And I know at times my sister did do that. Um, in terms of prostitution, um, I do know that my sister did, you know, I don't know if she necessarily views it as prostitution, but has she slept with men for money? Absolutely. It was alleged that she did that in front of the kids. My sister said that she's been clean and she hasn't done drugs in three years. Um, I'm hoping that the lie detector test will prove that my sister has in fact been telling me the truth, that she is clean, that she's not doing drugs. Um, I feel like my sister needs to like, really grow up and mature. My sister looks and depends on me for a lot. She often feels entitled. Like, I just want her to like really get it together because I'm stressed out. And sometimes it's like, I need help. I need support. Like, if I'm doing stuff for everybody else, like who helps me? Who supports me? The thing is, is that I, I want my sister to be able to get her rights back, but I don't think that that's like, I don't want to say I don't think it's going to happen, but like, um, come March, this case is closed out with at least my niece and nephew, and I'll have permanent legal guardianship of them. Um, as much as I love my sister and I'm always going to be there, I'm always going to support her, sometimes I just feel like the things are never, ever going to change. We're just going to keep coming back around to this rode this brick wall because of her choices and her decisions. I come from North Philly, as you know. My mother was a prostitute, a drug addict, even though we have the same father, different mother. Um, I became a product of what I came from. So I made the necessary choices that I thought were the right choices because that's the environment I came that in. That is that. You got to take ownership for the person that you were and that's what, more importantly, you need to take that ownership for your kids. And we talk about that all the time. All right, uh, Eddie, you came here and took a lie detector test. We asked you, did you ever neglect your children's medical needs at any time? You answered yes. Have you ever used, ingested, or smoked any illegal drugs in the presence of your children at any time? You answered yes. Were you ever too high on illegal sub substances to properly care for your children at any time? You answered yes. Did you sell your body for sexual favors to provide for your children at any time? You answered yes, and the results came back that you told the truth. In 2016, at any time was your house you resided in with your children uh, in a condition to be considered dirty or unfit for living? You answered no. Did your children go ever go without being fed for long periods of time to, due to your actions? You answered no. Did you fail to provide your children with clean, fresh clothing every day? You answered no. Did you ever leave any of your children alone, unsupervised, anywhere for extended periods of time? You answered no. Have you ever prostituted yourself in the presence of your children at any time, you answered no. Did you allow strange men or women in your home to engage in sexual activity with you while your children were present? You answered no. Uh, those answers, uh, the results came back the same to each one of those questions, and it came back that Ada told the truth. In the past three years, have you used by smoking ingested, injected, or snorted any illegal substances or narcotics that was not medically authorized? You answered no. In the past three years, have you used your prescription Xanax not how it is prescribed? You answered no. And to those two questions, you did not tell the truth end of the day like you gotta get it together like enough gotta be enough with the drugs like it has to be it, right. it has to so, be so can you take that step where yeah i'm not gonna do xanax i'm not gonna drink alcohol absolutely i yeah. won't do nothing you say a lot of right things 
but saying words and matching them to your actions are two different things. Right. 